Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, guys? How you guys doing? Um, just bringing you guys a new video here uh, about a indicator that I created. Well, not created, but you know, put together um, from a few ideas that I had, and based on the strategy I'm using every day to, to trade, I just you know made an indicator to make things a bit more easier and um, cleaner to to see uh, for you know those swift market changes and. We got also order blocks. We got a trailing stop loss, right? This, right here, this band right here is a trailing stop loss. Now, um, we have the trend band here. This trend band will change colors depending on the trend. If it's this light blue, this is gonna be bullish. And if it's this purple, it's gonna be bearish, okay? So everything changes. Uh, we got the X for our signal to enter this is just a confirmation this is not for you to enter the trade but this is just merely a confirmation so you can um know that okay we might be going for a sell or we might be going or changing directions for um the market okay now um let's do a quick replay here so you can see a bit uh this in action um let's go hit play now, as we can see here, we had a signal. It did not play out, so it means that we're not going down as yet. We have a bullish signal, but the market right now is not really going to the upside. So let's wait. We created an auto block here as well. We had an auto block up here. So let's see what the market is going to do. Let's see if we can enter a trade. So let's say right now this is trend. This is ranging right now, so you guys can see we're in a smaller range right here. So I guess we are not looking for any thing right now. So let's say this is going to be us trading in the market live. So this is this is going to be what? 9 o'clock in the morning. So let's say we usually trade around 9.30, uh, the open between 9.30 and 9.35, 9.40 more or less. And we're going to look for a trade. Now, if you're trading before uh, 9 o'clock, you could have been in this trade but it would have been a bit hard to get in this trade because it was ranging at this point now it did give you a signal to sell and we did have a breakage structure here so it would have been it would have been your decision to either fo follow through maybe enter at the retest here or once it started making these fair value gaps oh this indicator also has fair value gaps and market structure shifts and break of structures and everything so uh and this red line that you're seeing here is the vwap the vwap is already included with this indicator so um you could have entered either at the retest here uh or at the break at the vwap right here in this candle we broke the vwap this could have been a signal for you to enter and if you normally go for 100 pips or 100 ticks uh this could have been your move right here your stop loss can be either 20 ticks or let's say 35 or 40 ticks i usually go for 50 but in the case that this is going to be a trade that most likely is not going to um retrace on me i'm going to put my stop loss right at the beginning of the move which is right here i want to put it for 15 ticks all right so usually you will focus to go for a one to two or a one to three right here we already did that or you can also look for an, uh, a place of liquidity which was is this order block right here which will give you, let's say, 50 ticks. Well, no, let's, let's bring it down all the way to this order block. So we got 60 ticks on this order block right here. So let's see if we are we can manage to hit full CP on that. There we go. Still moving. See how it respects the fair value gaps that it's throwing right now. If I want, I can move my stop loss to there, to right here, because it has a trailing stop loss guide that's telling me where to go and um, how to move my stop loss as it goes into profit, okay? Now, this move ended up going for a 1 to 4, but um, it also went for over 145 ticks. So, if you were trading before 8.30 move, this is the way you would have got in on that 8.30 or before the 8.30 move market open. So you see here, 8.30, we had that big red candle, which was which gave us um, a big dump on the price of this case. And we were below the VWAP as well, okay? So other than that, let's see how it 
how we proceed here. So we have an auto block here that we just bounced from. And let's see where else we could go at the moment. Now, we're changing. We're still bearish right now. We're below the VWAP. We're still breaking the structure to the downside. We recently had a break of structure here. Now, if you wish to enter here instead of a... Um, you could go in for a sell here. One, we created an order block. Two, we receive a signal, which is okay. Now, three, we had a break of structure. So you could wait for it to either come back and retest this order block, or you can enter at the break of structure. But in this case, due to the fact the price has gone down so much, if you wish to take this trade, I will only take this trade for a very small amount of ticks. So let's say if I entered at the break here, I would put my stop loss right here and I will go for a one to one, to be honest. One to one will be what I would do in this case. Just in case if you lose, you got this, you know. So a one to one in this case would have been a good uh with a good trade for 46 ticks. And you see, immediately it changed trend right here. Okay? It changed trend right here. Why? Because we already went down a lot. Price went down and down and down, came up a bit, went down, down, down. We got a signal up here, which would have been either here or here, but it only gave us 46 ticks. This could have been a stop loss for 20 ticks, to be honest. This could have been a 20 tick stop loss. And, well, after, after it was trailing, right? Because if you see here, once it started going down, we could have moved the stop loss right here into... into this area here into this high and would have been a, a good trade good risk to reward on this one so we completed this trade now the indicator is telling us to go for a buy somewhere around here okay so let's say if I'm going for a buy here the stop loss for me is pretty pretty far so I'm gonna wait for the price to come back down to any of these areas here for me to go for a buy so let's see what happens to any of these fair value gaps but first, I need to, you know, be sure that this is the move that's going to do. Now, we just rejected from the from the VWAP, okay? Now, this is telling me that we might not go up, but at the same time, it's just, you know, typical resistance. We could also break it. Now, we did get the buy signal, but we haven't entered yet. Just because also this move was kind of late, so... For this move to be a good move, I would wait for it to come back down and give me another signal somewhere around these areas here. So if I'm going to use Fair Valley Gap as one of my strategies, I'm going to have these here. Or I'm going to have it straight to my fair, uh, order block down here. So let's see which one of these would have been our trade. Now, me personally, I most likely would have entered here on this one here. I would have most likely entered here. Um, but I will still wait for a bit more confirmation. Why? Because this really is not a combination of a, of a, of a, of a low that I would like to see. This candle here, this doji, and then this other candle here, this is not really a low. Because for me, for, for it to be a low, it would have to be something like this. You see here? It has equal lows right here. These, these two bodies are the same. For me, this would have been a low. This would have been something I would have considered for, for, for a buy. So just in the case that we came all the way down to this fair value gap, I guess that's the one that was after this fair value gap right here. Or most likely for some people, some people would have would waited for it to come to the auto block. Let's see if it comes to the auto block. If not, I'm going to take the entry for this fair value gap and my stop loss is going to be for 50 ticks right here. Just in case. If, if it doesn't come to the order block, my entry is going to be here. If it does come to the order block, my entry is going to be at the order block. And if I go at the order block, it's going to be an entry for... Yeah, it's going to be right here. Pretty tight. 20 ticks. Okay? Let's see what happens. see 
Okay, so explaining here, just in it did not come to the for, to the order block, right? So it came into this fair value gap and then went back up. It dropped a little. So in this case, what we would have done, just in case, because we had this fair value gap here, it did not go straight to the upside. So let's say I was waiting for this to drop here. In the case that I'm looking at it and it did not come into this low here and then it started to go up, then I'm going to wait for a change of structure or some kind of um, bullish structure for me to go into. Now, I can see that we have this high here. So let's put it, let's use this. I can see I have this high here. Right? This high was broken. Was, well, it kind of broke well uh, let's go no, let's use this one instead of the wicks i'm going to use the body because really truly in this case it's the body for me in this case we broke through the body boom we had a breakout here now we also created a fair value gap now as well other than creating this fair value gap we took out this fair value gap this was supposed to be a sell signal but then instead we came back up and we ran through that fair value gap to the upside this is a this is an indication of a typical reversal okay now that being said i'm gonna go and wait for a trade at the fair value gap so in this case i would have gone in here for the buy the buy would have been in here instead of doing it here on this fair value gap i'm gonna do it on this fair value gap because if i was wait if i was waiting for it to come to the order block this is the fair value gap i'm gonna take if you did not wait for it to hit the ter the fair value gap, the, the order block down here, then you you could have taken this trade either way. It would have been a good trade regardless, okay? But let's say we got in here. In this case, I'm going to put my stop loss right here because the indicator is telling me this is a trillion stop loss. It's going to be for 34 pips, 44 ticks. We have two options. The first TP can be right here at the VWAP, okay? And the second TP could be right here at the order block. Or the other TP would be right here at the top order block over here. Why I'm saying why am I charging to this order block over here? Because we started the day pretty bearish. And this is an area of volume. This is an area of calm of uh it was ranging in this area. So this area right here has a lot of volume. And due to the fact it has a lot of volume in this area, this is something where the price might go up and try to retest it. And if you see here, we went down, but we're trying to go up. It hasn't really broken this low over here. So at the moment, instead of making a lower low, we made a, uh, a higher low. Or, yeah, I would say a higher low. Now, what happened here was as well, we had a low here. And we also had, aside from this fair value gap, we also had this order block right here. Although the indicator didn't, didn't give us that order block, for me here, this was an order block that we could have also gone in here or wait for the fair value gap here. I would have waited for the fair value gap, to be honest. But um, just in case, you also have this option as well. Okay, so let's see. This would have been a trade. Let's, let's back it up a little bit uh let's back it up to here and let's say if, let's see if i would have taken this trade let's go for a buy five contracts this would have been five contract trade so this would have been a three thousand and seven hundred dollar trade now now we're still in this trade right had a bit of a complication here now i'm not going to move my stop loss yet because we still haven't broken through this vwap as soon as we break through this vwap i'm going to look for an opportunity to move my stop loss okay now we're breaking through the vwap we stay through the vwap we've not broken through the vwap again now now that we fully broken through the vwap i'm going to move my stop loss to this trading stop loss right here and also, it's an order block that is created here. So my stop loss is going to be moved onto here. And it's below the VWAP, so it's pretty safe. And we're going to go either we hit TP or it gives me another opportunity to move my stop loss 
before hitting my TP. So let's see. Uh, I got another area here. Now we got it here and hit TP. $3,740 on that trade. Excellent trade. Okay. We could have entered also, um, other than that trade, we could have entered at the auto block here that it came in twice to retest. And we also had a buy signal right here. We had a buy signal here to enter the trade. That would have been a very good trade. Now look at here. We have a sell. We had a, we have been, it's looking like a change of direction right now. So it's giving me intentions that we might be seeing selling. And as well, we are at an auto block. And this is a bearish auto block. Why? Because we're seeing here that we have more red than green so that means we at a red at a bearish order block so we got to look for possible entries to the downside now here we go let's see what happens we got to buy now it's also ranging so i'm not doing anything here yet if i were looking for a for a trade so it's one o'clock in the afternoon so it's at the order block Created a new order block for bullish. Now, right here, what happened is we got a entry here. Okay. We got an entry here. Entry signal here. And we also had a break of structure. Okay. We had a break of structure here. Although we have an order block here. We also had a break of structure here. So this is telling me, you know what? We might be going for a sell. The, the cloud or the trend uh, band has changed to purple. So it's most likely giving me indications that we might go for a sell. If I have a, a bearish engulfing candle, I will be looking for a sell. So in the case, it did not give me that engulfing candle. So I'm out of sales right now. So let's see what it does for buys. It's changing to a bullish environment. It's giving me that sell again. Came into the fair value gap. Now check this out. It did give me now another break of structure here. Or change of character to, to, to no, not break of structure. It will be a change of character. It gave me a change of character here and also here. So other than that, it gave me a signal. It gave me a fair value gap and it's changing into bearish zone right now. So let's say what happens here. I would have entered at that fair value gap to be honest. So let's say, yeah, let's, let's go for that fair value gap entry. Let's go for five contracts. Stop loss is going to be right at the high here. TP is going to be, we got some liquidity here. We got an auto block here. And I'm going for a hundred ticks. A hundred ticks will be 2,500. Uh -huh. yeah, this would be in this case 40 50 ticks. Okay, what happened here? Oh, shit. Oh, my bad. Okay, so we have this here stop loss, and TP should be a hundred ticks. So that's right here. Usually this is a trade that I would have taken. And let's see what happens. Oh my God. Oh, that's so beautiful. That was beautiful. This oof, 100 ticks and it went all the way to this auto block for 145 ticks nice that was a nice trade nice trade let's see here we got the auto block we broke through that auto block kept dropping now this indicator is mostly for the one minute i don't use it in any other time frame just the one minute and just because I've built everything for the one minute. Great for scalping.
200 ticks. Let's see if we go for 200. Now we are below the VWAP. Came to the VWAP again, blew through it. Uh, most likely it's not going to go through anymore. Came to this order block and then went all the way from there. Now it's changing most likely to a bullish environment. Uh huh. Still bearish. Then failed to break this high over here. Now we did break it. Now we're bullish. We are above the VWAP. So this trade only gave us on foot till here. 190 ticks. Here at this point. It's going bullish. Now me personally. Um, I would have gotten in on this break here. Right on this one. Why? Because this candle right here, for me, it represents liquidity. This big wick here would have represented liquidity. And I would have targeted that buy right here. Break of structure, yeah, that would have been me. And I would have stop loss right here. Pretty neat. 30 ticks. 1 to 2. And we're good. 1 to 2. 60 ticks right there. If I want to, if I feel greedy and i want to go for one to three uh it's 90 ticks or 100 ticks for that matter if we have a, a fair uh, order block all the way up here that could be a target so let's see what happens oh got blue got blow down okay so in this case it would have been a one to two Pretty good. One to two. That's it. So one big candle would have been that one to two. Pretty good. Now in this case, we started going for sales. We did not have a change of character until here. So if I'm going for a sell, I'm gonna go in for a sell at this fair value gap. Not this one. This would have been a good one, but this one also would have been more uh more of a confirmation of that one because it already expands and it's letting me know that it might be a big drop so i could have decided to go for a sell right at this fair value gap at the retest right here with this candle stop loss would have been right here for 40 ticks i could have go for a one to two or a one to three let's see if it plays out for a one to three Uh, in this case, we are very long gone for a one to three. A one to two would have been barely. So this it did basically a 1.5 on this run. And it hasn't finished. I mean, it, it could still go down because the market finishes here. But it could still go down. But who knows? Let's see how that ends up next week. But so far, guys, this is the indicator. I've worked for a few days on it. Uh, you can change the uh, fast and slow EMAs. Right now, I'm using 5 and 21. You can change it to 9 if you want. Signals are going to be a bit different. Um, I use. I will recommend anything between 9 and 5. Okay. It's only for the 1 minute. You can use it in any other time frame, but I will strictly um, go for the 1 minute. You can change the colors of the the bands and everything everything can be customizable and you can change the color of the signals just you know for your personal preference depending on the the the, the color on the charts that you have okay um this is the fair value gaps and this is the order box you can have more order blocks on the screen or not and you can you know customize this however you want these are the settings that i have right now that i've been testing that are that have been working for me 
So hopefully works out for you guys. See you guys.